first, really, I was having bands to come in and record for free, for fun, so I could use them as guinea pigs. My name is David Connolly. I'm from Dublin in Ireland, and I'm in a band called W. W, you know, it stands for a lot of things. A wonderful world. The overall approach and vibe of the music is coming from a place of positivity to begin with. I mean, I think that's sort of the foundation. Spirit, come turn the tide, set us on our way to see the love in everyone. Stop throwing it away. We have the chance of bringing our I own heaven down, down to earth. Why settle for what's mediocre when you know your worth? A New Start was written last year, knowing that there comes a point where you really need to do something sometimes drastic in order to make a change. It's like we got to really go back and, and rethink, you know, some of the patterns that we've created for ourselves. With the guitar, what I try and do, it's more sort of sonic landscape. It supports the overall sound and melody and uh, lyrics. Sometimes I call it guitar architecture. <laughs> All I try and do is get out of the way. <laughs> New way will not be contained. First and truly awesome and drowning each and every fear in an ocean of love. A new chance. Yo, this is Natty Roots, one of the Universal Translators. Uh, came to the Hen House Studios to do a couple songs, a few songs. Habitation of Peace, 40 Days and 40 Nights, and Selassie I Love Zion 9. From the tribe of Judah, he's the captain of the gas, ruling for presence in the past, to the future, the first and forever controller of the weather. He's infinite, the highest mathematical measure, the giver of pleasures. I will treasure his every word and commandment. Acknowledge every man sent from time immemorial. My editorial is metaphorically allegorical, historical, euphorical. To contemplate on his greatness, so time and time again, atheists wanna debate this, but take this, skeptic. I step quick in the eastward direction for perfection. You know, some good conscious Rastafarian hip hop music. You know what I'm saying? Peace to one and all, Selassie, Rastafari. One, two, one, two, three. You can hear anything going against anything else. You know, it's just, it's form against form. sound against sound. Either it works or it doesn't work.
This is the mix and edit station. Here we have our patch base system, which routes signals to everywhere in the studio. This is uh, Pro Tools 5.1 Mix Plus. So I'll bring down your main yeah, definitely. The artist is like, yeah, we'll just fix it in Pro Tools. But the ones that are more meticulous and they just want it, the performance more, they're like, no, we gotta get this right. Doing it from scratch. Setting up the band. Yep, setting it up. HB surround sound. HB stands for Huntington Beach. We've got like probably like 70 originals, maybe a little more. We just write like no tomorrow. We got three songwriters and we all write a lot. Life is not what I thought or I hoped it would be. Practice at home, kids. It pays off and let's do it. <laughs> Like we're not paying for this, huh? <laughs> yeah. How was that one? Uh, yeah, I do do a little screaming on this one. Okay. Ah! The memory is gone out of the brain. Call is this game. Another song called Fine, and it's an AA expression. When you say you're fine in AA, it just means basically that you're f***ing insane and neurotic. Because nobody's just fine, you know, there's, there's emotions that, that people are feeling that they don't actually want to tell you about because they just come out and, you know, say that they're fine, but that's what that's about. I found out about Hen House about a year ago because I was looking to find someone who could, where I can record a demo and where I can do it pretty cheap. And a friend of ours, Maria Vidal, said, hey, I know this guy that records bands for free and free is as cheap as it gets. It'd be nice to to make a living at doing it, you know. Like I'm not, I don't think I want to be on Rolling Stone magazine or a big, big rock star. But you know, 
If it comes my way, I'm not gonna scream. You know what I mean? Alone and then you'll never cry again. Hi, my name is Lonnie Marshall. I live in Hollywood and I am a freelance musician who makes something out of nothing without pushing panic buttons. Can I get some bread for this jam? <laughs> Yes, I enjoy the process of recording very much. And I'm always in the studio, and that's always where I'm at. Um, I'm always recording, and I love being in the studio, building an empire, stacking chips, and raising the stakes higher. And funny, you know, and the, the third song is called Friends Like These, which is like, if, uh, you, you know, it, it, it's been explained here just from what's going on in this bar tonight. Um, hey, stop, stop. Dude, call the cops. I'm calling the cops, because if I don't, I'm going to kick his ass. Stop it. Dude, do yourself a favor and don't come near me right now. Yeah, we got an unruly bar patron over here, and I just punched him twice, and I'm going to do it again, yeah, and he won't leave. Yeah, I work here. My name is Pete. Can push you? You ready? Mm -hmm. There you go. Please put your hands together for Pete Holland. Uh, well, no comment. Um, but, uh... I can picture you on Franklin and Vine Street Sitting with your arms around your knees You need a friend to drive you home But you're sitting there alone It's you and the hookers and police And if I could explain the world I'd tell you to get some dreams that might come true Instead of living on fantasies and wishing But I guess that's what we need to get us through Come on. Right, well, you know. <laughs> In fact, okay, I admit it, I staged this, like, for your benefit. Just so it, it seems like I, I work in this sort of, like, Old West Roadhouse, you know? A bunch of rowdy gold miners coming in at the end of a long day. Who needs debt and destruction? Looking to fight. Who needs thank you? Down in your side, 
doubt and jealousy Who needs that? Friends like these I'm just blanking out right now because there's so many bands. I'm just, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, let me think. We're all seniors in high school. Right. I, I promise next time this will not happen again. <laughs> mom. <laughs> okay, mom, but I just don't. All right, I'll be home as soon as I can. Okay, I'm almost done. I promise. What's the name of the song? Um. What's the name of the song? I don't know. How did you find your way into the studio? So you standing there. One glimpse of the night. Um, it's kind of actually a dorky story, but uh Maybe on camera. Okay, it's kind of a dorky story, but um found it on Craigslist, so um I, was, I thought it was like free recording, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot and um Harlan asked me to come in, so right. And how studios? Pretty good. How you doing? Yeah, she sounds awesome. She's a pro. She's like Michelle Brandt. <laughs> She's got that style, you know? Editing some song steps here. Just trying to get it right. A little uh, high-pitched sound panning back and forth to make people's ears tingle. That's important in hip hop. Seem, seem, salarim. Life is just a scheme on extreme in search of your wildest dream. I gleam with a scheme you can't get from cream. So convene in the scene with a supreme team. Flow the cosmic scheme of things that bring you things to make the hustlers and the queens want to claim the kings for our scene. To bring your cultures to your universal focus. In the winter equinox, I'm as hot as summer solstice. Kick back inside the lotus, astral plane and cells training, flaming by the beat per hour. Towers of metaphors are raining. Yes, I'm rocking to the Milky Way, my starship, space dock. Put that poison in the air. Won't you try my antitoxin? Turn the box into your sector. You can call me Hannibal Lecture. Well, I'm Mr. Mysterious as Egyptian architecture. Sound waves of my scepter set the universe at play. Cause what goes around comes around inside the Milky Way. Is it bubbling? So scroll to roleplay. Or is it troubling? Staying paid night and day. 
Are we bubbling? Hustling, I can't say. Spinning like a DJ, living life the Milky Way. Milky Way, with my brain with some strange production. Like molecular reconstruction from an alien abduction. The fiend from the black hole. Can your soul feel the suction? Volcanic on your planet, actively bubbling like eruptions. Oh, that's dope. That's real dope. My voice is guiding you into a pleasant, soothing microphone cabinet. Here's a little selection of the microphones that we have in the studio. The SM57, snare drums or scratch vocals. The SM58's pretty much scratch vocals. So the third song I recorded was Fruits, and Fruits, that came in one spell. <laughs> one shot, that was, that was good. Um, Fruit is about when uh, I was unsure about re leaving a relationship with somebody that I loved. And because it's easy to leave things that aren't good for you or things that, are, that you may see as negative or whatnot, but when you really love somebody and you still feel like you may want to leave. And that's what the song is about. Shaking the fruit down from the trees Shaking the fruit down from the trees Always wondering Andy, you're still at it too. It's him. I just tuned. Oh, okay. My name is Darren, and I'm in the band previously known as 52 Pickup. We changed it to Swagger because there was like three other 52 Pickups. Because of Darren's bass, because Darren tuned it by ear. I am a junior in high school. And how are you doing in school? <laughs> No, I know all the notes. I just I just mix them up. I know, but you can't mess I just, them up. I didn't go long enough. Okay, but you can't mess them up this time. Just How am I doing in school? Well, if you think F's are good, then I'm doing awesome. I love singing because I've never liked talking to people. So I, if I could just get it out by singing, it's my way of expression. And I don't have to like listen to anyone because everyone's listening to me. That's why I sing. But now that you're gone, I could never tell you. Round up on your life, nothing's missing in this world. In this world. <laughs> Doing it from scratch at the hen house, man. It's total scratch, dude. Totally scratched up, man. This is straight chicken scribble. <laughs> okay, now take me back to the top of that section and give me another track. There's nothing around your neck. Tagua nut. Dog bone. Chicken bone. Boo. These undesired desirables are strangely congealing before our eyes. And we all seem incapacitated by the indecision of these so-called desirables. These desirables have no loyalty to you. They are not interested in assisting you or making you a part of the majority. Your position will be quickly yanked if you are not bringing in enough admirable desirabilities. Therefore, you are marked an undesirable. Hey, this is for the one. The desired undesirable. Society sarcastic favorite, as I would say. I hear it in my head, man. I hear a song, you know, you can hear a song in your head, man. Just be going on and on and on. A little loud, too. Even right when you wake up, man. <laughs> you know, you're just like, like, damn, I gotta get it out, man. The desirable of the conform control of power who sees nothing in the future. But what someone else tells them is gonna be Ooh, by conformity, robots of meat. 
myself. What are you doing out here? Okay, what I'm about to do is I'm about to light off a firecracker at the hen house. Well, I just feel like I'm happy. I'm at the hen house. I got my, my vocals done on my song. And uh, I feel like I should light off a firecracker because my vocals sound so good, man. In house television. This is full tilt off and hoopla, I say. The undesirable is free of this reality. The undesirable's movements are monitored by hidden cameras and tied into one number the social security number, the barcode metropolis. Desirable way of life. This does not provide any rights or any amount of privacy for the undesirable. And we will be identified not by our names, but by our nine digit numbers. The theme of dehumanization and the ability to treat us like numbers on a page, like robots, items on an entry list. It makes it all so much easier to disregard our individuality and force us into a mold or out of a mold where it serves the desirables' whims. This is what the desirables have to offer to you. Can you dig it? Um, I think that's it, huh? What do you think? I'm trying to think. your own trip. Close your eyes, now you're jumping in the 